pull that flag as a diversion, not really go after it. Instead, he's gonna wait on Victor X and Macchio to push up top middle. Man train there, he eats the mauler. Hawk, he's got the sniper ogre too, going in with the sniper to clean it up, switches to that battle rifle as you were saying, and now he's gonna have a lot more sniper rifle ammo to work with, but instead he turns and faces his brother one on one, and ogre two is gonna hit him in the body, clean it up with the BR, and you saw him look over at his brother after that kill. One on one to battle again, Ogre one versus Ogre two. Tom's gonna have to get out of there though as Miof tried to push in, but a nice triple team there on Miof and Ogre two finally cleaning up the kill there on Ogre one. It, lo it looks like they're just toying here with the Incredibles. They're set up top middle. They got all the power weapons, but they're not pushing into the base. That was just, an, I got a note on how impressive that getaway was. I, he was no shields in the middle of the battle and he's able to get away. That's impressive. And Mantrain was just jumping around as Macchio snuck the flag back into his base. It is going to be 3-1. to one. Final boss taking game one here in this best of five series. And here we go, taking a look at the stats here. Macchio putting up plus 18. Are you kidding me? 28 and 10, opens the game up with the extermination. Macchio could not have a stronger start to any tournament. No, there, there's no better start <laughs> you could ask for, Chris. We went on what, a seven spree? I mean, we saw Pistola get 45 kills, but his game was like 17 minutes long. This one, I think it was around eight. <laughs> And we got game number two coming up here very shortly between the Incredibles and Final Balls. And right now we see some jawing back and forth right now. They're having a good time down there playing. And we got game two coming up on the main stage right now. Final Balls with a one to nothing lead over the Incredibles. These guys down there having a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah, they look excited. And uh, well, they, they better be excited for this game two coming up here. We have Pit Team Slayer coming up next. Game two of the best of five. And here we go. We're starting this game off right now. We're going to jump on board with Ogre 2. Should have gone with Macchio, but, you know, I got to see what Big Tom can do here on Nashville. Victory takes down Tupac. Now they have the Rockets. A nice opening here for final boss. It looked like they went for the overshield, but that is going to be burnt by Mioff. And Mioff tried to get away, but he was sniped by fear itself. Meanwhile, Ogre 2 controlling the Rockets. Nice power weapon control here from Final Boss. Ogre 1, through the crack. Oh, oh and he moved just out of the way. But that was a perfect rocket. Lined it up. He went for the through the crack shot. It was the twin sense. He sensed it. So Ogre 2 getting the respawn here. Now through the mauler. Now, if, if you're the incredible, you know you can cap on Final Boss. Can you win a Team Slayer? I think so. You have to be aggressive, though. They're going to play down to them and be kind of scared to push to their side of the map. But I think if they just make a good push, they can take over final balls. And if anyone's going to make that push, who's going to be the leader? I'm going to say Tupac. I think Pac's playing really aggressive so far. And in fact, he's even on their side of the map right now. Well, there you see him trying to push through Dark Hall. He's going to come back to help out his teammate on Green Box. It looks like green is clear. I'm checking out the other four screens here, though. Let me call out the final boss locations. You have Fierce still on top of his sniper. He just picked up a kill on training. Macchio is at the enemy sniper. He's behind Tupac right now. And then Ogre 2 and Victory are just pinching one from Sword and one from Needles. But it looks like the Incredibles heard my call outs and they cleaned up all three players there. Tupac finally chasing now Macchio, but Macchio is just too hot right now, guys. We're going on board with him. Right now you have Macchio in the base. Meanwhile, Ogre 2 pushing up on the Incredibles training with that sniper rifle. Macchio's going to try and distract just as Ogre 2 pokes out. He's got man train distracted. Ogre 2 trying to line up the shot. And when Ogre 2 is able to clean it up, meanwhile, Fear itself, he's got the Obi. Staying on board with Macchio right now, though. He's trying to clean up some kills on Miyoff. 
Victor X is going to clean that one up, and you got to be impressed by the final boss communication here. Yeah, but I just have to note that Mackie is playing on a completely another level. I mean, Final Boss is a little iffy about him going into this event, but if they're iffy about him and they think he's the weak link, this team is going to be great. And there you see a player trying to move up on training. He was met by two sniper rifles and a battle rifle from Final Boss. Mackie tried to push forward. None of his teammates were really there to help protect him quite yet, but now it looks like they're getting it all set up here to make a strong sword push as they send Fear itself through the green hall with that overshield. And final boss coming out here with some strategy in this game. They, they, look, they look like they're setting up and then making moves. Yeah, I really like how they're using sword. They're using sword as pretty much a diversion, and then Mackie is just going to pick up headshots there. But they're using sword as pretty much a diversion, and then pushing down empty and pitching on it. It's a really interesting strategy. Now, we, talk, we talked a lot about in the pregame and even in our open that we were focusing on Ogre 2 and Victory X, but right now, Mackie is really destroying right now. Does this final boss team look for real right now? Yes, they they truthfully look for real. This I didn't know what to expect from Final Boss, whole new roster, but they look like they came to play. And I mean, the, the battle rifles here from the Incredibles aren't bad. They have good right, shots. Right. The, what's lacking here from what I'm seeing is communication and the strategy that Final Boss is using. And you can tell between the two teams who put in the practice and who didn't, and it's definitely showing off here from Final Boss. And Macchio, I got to say, he is really, really impressing me. As I said earlier, he was my one question mark, but I think uh, a lot of people have been saying that about him, and he's taking notice of that, and he's trying to change the minds right now. There you go, no longer a question mark. He's trying to become the exclamation point. Oh. Ooh. That's right now, they 26 to 16. Make that 17. First to 50 is going to win this game, too. And you got two snipers here. You got Ogre 2 with one sniper shot. Fear itself just no scope. Ogre 2 is going to pick up the kill. Green, green. And there's the double kill, cleaning up Fear's kill. They're just walking all over the Incredibles. Ogre 1, he's got a sniper rifle to work with. He's on the final boss side of the map, but the rest of his team is just being spawn slaughtered. As you see, Ogre 2 is on a killing spree from the Incredible Sniper Tower. Ogre 1 versus Ogre 2, and there's the triple team there. You see the the final boss squad, though, not done slaying. We're jumping on board with Fear Excel. He is in the sword. He's just been picking off incredible members. No sh <laughs> One shot left. Tried to go for the headshot there, man. Now he's got the plasma pistol to work with. There you see that beautiful torpedo now added to the wall here on pit. Nice work by KC, our game tester, balancing the map, making sure that every single part of this map is symmetrical. And Fear itself, he just picked up a brand new sniper rifle off an enemy. He's got another rifle to work with. What are the Incredibles doing wrong here? The Incredibles aren't working together at all. The one time you see them work together is when they all die and then Ogre 2 is on top of their tower. <laughs> Not a good position to be in. Not at all. And Fear, he just got off a of plane, but he's looking warm. What's going on with this kid? Does he not need to warm up? Apparently not. I guess the maybe he's using the, the angry head from the flight being delayed to put it into his game plan. Visualizing it on the play. <laughs> maybe he had his controller out of the plane. You know, I was thinking that same thing, just keeping his fingers here. Yeah, you know, you got to keep you can have the controller out and keep it going. Ten kills to go right now for final boss. Make that nine. They're really pulling away right now from the Incredibles in this game two matchup. And now you see Fear itself setting up well here. He's going for those rockets. Pushing though. He's going to push on Miyoff, who is on training. A little bit of a sloppy VR, but they're going to get the kill. And they also look like Final Boss is setting up for the overshield as Macchio and Ogre 2 are pushing in. Our training, our training, our training. Ah, uh, I don't see any green. Our training, our training, our training, one shot. Train, go green. Go green, go green, go green. 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 Go green,
So there we have it, final boss taking game two. They're just now one game away from winning this one. Macchio putting up big stats again with Ogre 2. He went 15 and eight, that's a plus seven. Final boss is sweeping the floor here with the Incredibles. All right, we're coming up. 2-0, final boss over the Incredibles. We got game three coming up when we return. <laughs> 